Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. It's Carolyn, and Joyce is here doing the technical work, like filming. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to show you something that I saw on Facebook on Demonstrator Planning Place. I forgot to save the link. So I'm just going to go through this kind of quickly because um, on the uh, video that I watched, it was about 20 minutes. I don't think we want that much time. So I'm going to show you how to make two quick cards and four quick card fronts. And I'm going to use the Art Gallery stamp set. So I've done all the preliminary work, so it's going to be a slideshow. First of all, you start with an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. And you score it at 5.5 and, and 4 and a quarter. Then you start... Uh, stamping. So the first uh, stamp that I did were the leaves in the corner of the first square or rectangle. Then you proceed to do the opposite. After you've done those two and you've got the leaves in place, that's when you start adding um, the rest of your design. So this is what I did after. So this is going to make two cards. So I've stamped the flowers, I've stamped it a second time, and added some yellow. Simple as that. Then all you have to do is either cut it this way, or cut it this way depending on how you want your card to be. And you'll have two cards that look like this. Can you see them? And then you can just stamp right on the card, and you've got a card. Quick and easy. I actually stamped something on the back too, just because I could. So now, if you want to make four cards, a card fronts, your next uh, stamping is going to look like this. So I stamped the centers first, and I just kind of overlapped them, but I did figure out after I did this a couple times, that if you don't ink up the whole stem, it's easier to get it right in the corner instead of trying to get them on top of each other. So as you can see here and here, the um, stems are not as long as the actual stamp. If you use the whole length of that leaf and stem, your flowers are going to go on top of each other, which is what happened to me the first time I did this, so it looked like this. So, um, where am I at? You're done with that. I'm done with that. Okay. So after I stamped all the leaves, once again, I started stamping the flowers. And where's the purple one? Hmm? Where's the what? Oh, never mind. So this is what I ended up with. So you do the four stems in the center, two on the outside, then you stamp your flowers, and you just keep going around. You just turn it um, to do this one, and then turn it again to do this one, and again to finish this. Um, or you can just slide it over. And then you cut it. This piece, by the way, is eight by ten and a half because you're going to cut these four by five and a quarter. So before I did anything else with this piece of paper, I scored it, or I trimmed it to eight by uh, ten and a half, and then I scored it at five and a quarter, or five and a half, yeah, five, five and a quarter by four. Mm -hmm. So now you just cut the four apart, and you end up with four card fronts. And this is these are the ones that I did in purple. The other ones are that I showed are Blushing Bride and Rococo Rose. This is Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. And I, I put it on, I think it's Gorgeous, gorgeous Grape, grape paper, <laughs> cardstock. And then I also put a couple of them on black. And you could use green, you could use the yellow, whatever, but I had four card fronts made in about 10 minutes or less. Oops. 
can't even see them. So, that is my demo. You gonna show the rest of those cards? Uh, well, these are the oh, the rest of these cards are where I overlapped. Ah. That's the first group that I did, and so they ended up on top of each other. And you can see the difference in um, the length of the stem. Um, versus these cards. I added a little bit of a leaf to this, just because I could. So, that is it. Okay. So have fun.